Well, with me is Jack Valero, the co-founder of Catholic Voices, to tell us a little bit more about what we can expect. And this is a rather extraordinary meeting, isn't it? Yes. In fact, it's a two-year process which started back at the beginning of this year when there was a questionnaire sent to all the dioceses around the world asking, w where are we with the family? Because the, the topic is the family, the challenges to the family in the modern world. These, these questionnaires, the, the answers were sent, were collated, they're in a document available for download from the Vatican website. This document is the one that is going to be, this is called a working document, it's going to be discussed by the bishops now for, for two weeks. And then, but this is only agenda setting, what are the questions to, 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 to study? Then there will be a year of work and in October 20, 2015 there will be the final meeting concluding, you know, what, what, what should be done about these different areas and of the And is family. the feedback from the faithful, really, that there needs to be some change? Well, the, I think more than change, this, these are important issues to study. I think rather than changing the doctrine, what we need to change is the approach to people, rather than saying, you know, Pope Francis says, the truth is like a diamond. It's really beautiful to look at, but if you throw it at people's face, it hurts. And that's what we need to look at, you know, what, what is the, what, what, where are people are at? He, he talks about the field hospital, people are hurt, people are hurting. There's divorce, there's, there's family breakdown, you know, all these things that um, people feeling alienated from the church because they feel that they're not following the message or they're not following the, the doctrines. We need to look at all this and say, well, how are we going to explain the teachings of the church to these people? How are we going to welcome them? into the church and, and uh, make them part of what's going on. So it's not about redefining what the church regards as sin, but more being more welcoming to the sinners, be more pragmatic. That's, that's perhaps the message to priests. Well, it, it means being where people are at. You know, it's, it's really wonderful. I think it was fantastic that the Pope said, this is the topic, the family. We all come from families, we all have families. You know, this, this touches all of us. And in fact, it's, it's wonderful that he's invited 16 couples to take part in the synod, which hadn't been done before, and to tell, them, tell the, 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 the bishops of, of their experience. So the, the point is, how, what is the, the church has a lot of wisdom for, for thousands of years and, and some doctrines, and which uh, we believe lead to happiness. But obviously, there's a lot of unhappiness around. And on the route to finding uh, happiness, this is going to involve some tough talking, isn't it? Absolutely. And, and in fact, the Pope isn't afraid of, of discussion because there's been cardinals saying one thing, cardinals saying another thing, quite, quite fractious, and the Pope isn't afraid of discussion and debate. And he wants it out, out in the open, and he wants these things to be discussed because they're very important to all of us. But we Catholics are very excited because it's so important. Jack Valero, thank you very much for coming in to speak to us about that.